Yes, ma'am. I, um, I I wanted to speak first of all uh, to thank you guys for for a lot of really great things that you're doing. Uh, I see we're gonna have Fourth of July fireworks here in New Brunswick uh, on the third. We're gonna have um, uh, it, it, you know a lot of uh, uh, pretty much a lot of exciting things on here. There's gonna be you know some concerts in Boyd Park and and a beer garden and all kinds of really cool hip things. So. Beer garden, right? So I, I, I'm I'm really glad to see you guys um, uh, passing these types of things. But but um, uh, you know I, I also wanted to address a couple of um, sites in the city that could use some some help and some some redevelopment or some assistance. I and I just wanted an update on where those are at. I know that it's not easy. It takes time, but um, I know just walking here, I saw it's either 116 or 118 Byron Street is uh, just a hole in the ground, there's a building that's been knocked down, there's just a, a basement and some steps. And the netting that's supposed to keep the public out has, has fallen down, and so it's kind of a, a hazard right here in the middle of downtown. So I wanted to know what's planned for that site and when can we expect to see movement on it. Same goes for the New Brunswick Arts Building site. I have seen movement there, but I want to know the time frame. Thank you very much. And as for the New Brunswick Arts building at the corner of George and New Street, I've seen some activity there, but I want to know what the time frame is and where, when you can expect to see some buildings. Do you have a sense of what the schedule is like for that particular project? Yeah, well, I know they're doing the certain new environmental cleanup uh, on the property now, and they're working on getting their um, final piece of financing approved. And uh, one more, the uh, Walgreens project, there's still a, a giant mound of dirt there along Jersey Avenue um, where I know there was supposed to be some development. I, uh, whether or not that development is going to come, I would hope something is done with the site to, to mitigate uh, whatever hazards are there. Um, what's the time frame on that or where, where do we stand? Great. Thank you so much. I, I do I do have a couple other things. Um, yes, I was at the zoning board on Monday. There was a, as a, a project that I mentioned to you guys at the last meeting uh, proposed for Sycard and Senior Street, and uh, the meeting was very lively. There was a pack, packed room here, and and people from 
all different sectors of New Brunswick came out to, to speak their mind on the issue, some in favor and some against on this particular uh, zoning board uh, plan. But um, one thing that came up that I thought uh, we, could, we could do a better job of as a city um, was, was one of the people who came up here to speak mentioned that there weren't a lot of students here um, and this building was, was intended for students and it was being put in a, a largely student neighborhood. Um, and, uh, you know, quite frankly, I don't think that's the student's fault. Um, and I think that we could do a better job of notifying tenants of when a project is going to be built in their neighborhood or, or even on their exact site where they're living right now. I know, for instance, for Providence Square 2, um, the owner of the property had to be notified legally um, as, you know, in line with state statutes. But the actual residents of the building, the renters, the tenants, there's no requirement for them to be notified even if the project is going to eclipse their existing living space. Um, and so while that's, you know, that's a, a problem that's, that's pretty daunting, I do think one thing that we could all uh, kind of get behind really quickly and, and, and at least make a, a little bit of a difference is, is uh, just like we have the Home News publishes all these public meeting notices, we could also get those in the Daily Targum, no? I mean, there's... Uh, I'm willing to pay for it. Right, they want to charge, right? How, how much do they want to charge you? Is it too much? I, I haven't looked it up lately, but it's, it's, it's considerable depending upon the volume of people who are publicly. Right. Well, I think, I think that's something the council should consider. I did speak with the classified editor at the Daily Targum. They said they would be willing to give a discount, though they would still charge. Um, uh, I personally think they do it for free. But uh, nevertheless, I think it's probably a pretty menial sum, and I think it would actually uh, alert students about these very meetings that, that we're trying to, to get people involved in uh, from all walks of the city. So, so I think that that's something that we could, we could very easily accomplish for probably uh, a couple hundred dollars a year, or maybe a thousand dollars a year. Um, so I would encourage the council to look into that. And I also wanted an update on uh, where, where we're at in terms of uh, making these meetings more accessible to the public. I know in the beginning of the year we discussed having a podium and having uh, televised meetings perhaps or, or other, uh, you know, uh, improvements to the process that would make it more uh, friendly to the public. I wanted to know where we're at and what we can expect to see. Because well, right now I'm actually broadcasting this live on the Internet um, because there, there is no uh, televised council meeting. Mr. Lockwood, I hope so. Well, I, I, I just encourage you to expedite that because it is a really important thing that people be able to see what's going on here. And, and uh, not just this body, but also I think the zoning board, the planning board, and all the other boards and commissions would greatly benefit from just a simple TV camera in the background. We already have the cable access channel, so I think that's the way to go. Um, and, and one thing I forgot to mention, um, thank you for the uh, uh, passing the contract for the improvements to Recreation Park. That park's really in need of uh, some improvements, and I'm glad to see the council taking action on that. Thanks so much.